Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the IR-1 visa, that's the immigrant spouse visa, and we're discussing it in the context of the recent new year. 2020 has rolled in and immigration matters continue apace. I do get a lot of inquiries from folks asking, you know, given year to year, do, does the immigration process change? Yes, there are changes that occur with respect to the immigration process. That being stated, a simple date on a calendar is not, it doesn't change, it doesn't fundamentally alter the overall nature of the immigration process. So to think of it in that way is probably not a good idea. That being said, it does sort of integrally change, or I should say incrementally change throughout the given year. And Themes that were present in 2019, I think, are going to be present in 2020. So, for example, we saw a great number of requests for evidence, more as a percentage than we had seen in previous years. Requests for evidence are requests made by the Department of Homeland Security with respect to a given immigration petition, basically seeking further clarification or further documentation in connection with a petition for a given set of immigration benefits. In the past, these happened, but with, you know, I won't say they were rare, but they definitely weren't as, as frequent as we're seeing them now. It seems more and more that the immigration apparatus is looking to, for lack of a better term, dot all their I's and cross all their T's. And in fact, in many cases that we had felt were absolutely exhaustive, we've seen requests for evidence that, in my opinion, yeah, okay, I see what they were asking for, but we kind of felt like we had all the evidence there. That being said, dealing with an RFE quickly and effectively is important in order to keep the flow of the case going, to keep things moving, if you will. So the thing to keep in mind with respect to IR-1 visas moving forward is, yes, the RFEs still may be an issue, and generally speaking, I think it might it might be safe to say that it, do-it-yourself cases may be a little bit more difficult compared to times past based on some of the changes we've seen in the overall process. And for that reason, it may not be a terrible idea to go ahead and get in contact with a legal professional who has experience dealing with time, or excuse me, with American immigration as doing so may forestall certain problems and it may also mitigate any problems that come up during the process. We hope you find our videos insightful. If so, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you can receive up-to-date notifications of legal news in Thailand and the United States.